Hi guys, welcome back to this lecture. Today we'll talk about our virtual machine cloning. Okay, how you can clone your server. To do this one it is pretty simple. Okay, I have my server here. Just a list. Okay, um, yeah. that's, that's all. Okay, here. The first thing to have is to shut down your server. Your server to have to be uh, shut down. Okay, right now. To be able to clone it perfectly okay so first steps and uh, here by safety is already shut down okay the next steps is uh, to launch the command wish clone okay the original original server okay and uh, the target of a new the, br the branding new server that you want to have okay in my site for instance uh, i have this, this command is this one i will clone this node okay I have a, I want to cloning this node okay and uh, I have to specify uh, the, the host name and uh, the new one okay uh, I want to say uh, how to say it uh, and that's so clone for instance okay and uh, the auto clone will just uh, this auto clone or uh, argument uh, will uh, create uh, a new uh, a new Qcoder or new disk with this name. Okay, let me show you. And uh, let me hit the command first, and I will, I will show you after. Right now, the clone is ongoing. As you see, you can see allocating. Okay, and uh, dash clone. The the option the dash clone has been assigned to my new server. So this uh, node, this disk will be my, the new uh, root disk of my new server simply okay if i hit a wish okay done okay block uh, list list for this node for example for this new node we can see that we have uh, this uh, uh, this name okay so great uh, and uh, if i want to specify uh, a to give uh, a specific uh, name for this uh, file okay it's possible to has the option dash dash file okay by this way i will have you specify the name that you want and the name and of the target okay folder of this uh, of your new node okay here let me do it for instance i will do it with you and uh, let me do it here the host name again it is it will be the same host name it will be the same virtual machine that I will clone, and the target will be, uh, we say, uh, in Ubuntu, in Ubuntu test one, for instance, and the name will be this one, for instance. Okay, and the last clone it. The clone is ongoing right now. Great. So right now, if I do, I do first net wish list. Okay. We have all those nodes, and uh, if I want to uh, erase or suppress a virtual machine, it is pretty simple. Okay, I have to before destroy or erase, okay, or remove before remove any virtual machine from your system, you got to shut down it first. Okay, to be able to uh, suppress or remove a virtual machine from your environment you have to shut down this virtual machine first okay when it is shut down okay you can just hit the command virsh okay and define uh, define uh, mm, define uh, and the host name simply okay as you can see, the, the, I don't I don't have any more this server in my environment. But if you go to the folder where we have all the images, if I go to this folder, for instance, okay, you can remark that, okay, as I'm still have this uh, the the disk image, okay, the disk image is still there, okay, this disk image as exists is still there, okay. If you don't want this behavior, it's very simple. Okay, uh, the wish version define. If you want to remove all the disk or all the images or assign to this uh, host, it's possible. Let me show you the option. Okay, 
to remove all the disk associates. This option will remove all storage. Okay, all storage will be a removal from this node if I had this argument. Okay, let me do it with you. This list. And uh, let's say I want uh, to undefine uh, okay, this node, for instance. Okay, and I have uh, this argument. Okay, so we have other argument, but we will talk about it uh, later. Okay, but here what interest has is uh, this one. Great. Okay, as you can see, the domain has been removed, the virtual machine has been removed. Okay, and uh, the volume is associated to it has been also removed. If I do I hit, you can see that the, the image of the volume is gone. Okay, so that whole for the for this part, how you can uh, uh, clone it. But and uh, other things, okay, other things. Uh, let me clone uh, the node again. Let me clone it again. It's not finished. One a virtual machine has been cloned. Okay. Let me perform the clone again. When the virtual machine has been cloned successfully, let me we can start this uh, uh, first list. All okay, I can start it, and uh, you see a bit bad behavior. Okay, regarding the IP address uh, assigned to the node. Okay, if I do. This one, for instance, and I start uh, also the, the clone version. Uh, I will start also the clone. I will get uh, a very bad behavior be uh, for the address uh, IP address assign assignment. Okay, okay, be it's because of this node. Okay, uh, this node has been cloned from this one. Okay, and because of that, at this present time, so. This node have the unique ID ID and identification so of uh, this node, okay? Because of that, uh, the DSCP server will uh, assign uh, the same IP address uh, to the both node, and uh, that, perf that that can erase uh, some complications. So let me sh show you. If I do virsh virsh uh, domain if addr this node for instance. As you can see, no IP address has been assigned, okay? Because there is an issue. And let's me show you the second one. Okay? As you can see, there is an issue because uh, you can see that uh, this IP address uh, was from, uh, from the past, uh, this, the IP address of this node. And, but right now, it has been assigned now to this one. How to correct uh, this uh, behavior? The best way the best way it is regenerate uh, the new okay unique identification so uh, for for each node okay the, right I, will, I i'll do it right now Vish. console console and i will go uh, in this node for instance uh, okay and this node uh, we can connect on it sorry I'm um, in in this node sudo so and I will regenerate a new okay I will regenerate a new uh, matching ID as you can see sir I have to regenerate a new matching ID right now I will regenerate it to uh, avoid uh, this uh, behavior this very bad behavior okay I do it right now. Yeah, okay. So uh right now if I I go ahead, I can go ahead. I will reboot this node. Just just reboot this node uh, and uh, we have to do the same uh, for the for the first node if you want okay mm, I will just wait I will go back 
I will go back uh, and right now if I do for instance it's normal because I have to do the same thing so for my for the first node okay for the first node do the thing, same thing so for the first node Okay, if I do Virsha, destroy, I have to destroy it, and I will also destroy this one, great, and now Virsha, Start the node above node. Okay, great. And the second one. Great. Okay, so the issue has been, has been solved. Okay, so it is by this way where you can uh, solve this kind of issue. Okay, it's because this each node, this node is connected to this the both node has been connected to to the same virtual switch, and this virtual switch. Okay, list. Okay, uh, this virtual switch. Okay is uh, on the DSCP assignment, okay, uh, uh, DSCP assignment for all nodes or all of virtual machine has been connected on it. Okay, so now, now if I do VHNet uh, DSCP, okay, release, release, okay, now the issue is, uh, is gone, okay, so that all. So thank you very much and uh, I hope that uh, you appreciate this lecture and I'll see you for the next one. Uh, go and uh, goodbye from now.